Here's our setup. We've taken an ordinary extension cord. We've stripped off one of the ends. We're going to plug this end into the hot dog. The other end is going through our amp meter, which is then going to go through this wire, which we'll plug through a hot dog, and we'll cook the hot dog and measure the current as it's going through the hot dog. Now for safety purposes, I'm wearing PVC gloves. These are plastic coated gloves that will keep me insulated from the electric current. I'm also on a PVC plate, which will be insulating us from the, the countertop so I don't get in trouble from my wife by burning up her, her kitchen. I'm also going to use a GFCI, or ground fault circuit interrupted uh, outlet. This will trip a lot quicker on a ground fault and it should prevent me from getting too badly electrocuted if I do something stupid. And here's our guest of honor now. Hello, Mr. Hot Dog. Hello, Ginger. What are we doing today? Today we're going to do some science. Oh, I love science. Good. We're going to fry you up. See all the equipment we have? Oh, no. Don't fry me. Oh, quit complaining, Mr. Hot Dog. This is for educational purposes. Okay, now we've got the hot dog set up. We've got the current all ready to go, and now we're going to plug it in and we're going to start frying this baby. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but right now that hot dog is frying. If we look at the current, it's drawing about 800 milliamps. Now it quickly drops down as the smoke starts coming out. Pause it. And we continue to fry the hot dog. I would readjust the cables in order to get a little more smoke, get a different, burn a little different path through them. And so we're still drawing um, close to the 800 amps. And we continue to fry the hot dog. I would readjust the cables in order to get a little more smoke, get a different, burn a little different path through them. So we're still drawing um, close to the 800 amps. Um, close to the 800 amps. Uh, more than about eight times the limit that would uh, be killing a person. Now what happens at about 800 amps is the limit for uh, a person for your muscles is about 100 amps. At 0.1 amps, your muscles begin muscles will lock and tighten up. I better turn that off before we can shut off the smoke alarm over here. Set, go. Now we're going to pull out the wires and look at some of the damage we've done. If you can zoom in on the wire, you can see that we've got a lot of black on the wire. We've burned some of the wire, burned a lot of the hot dog, and we've burned this end of the wire pretty well as well. Turn the hot dog over there. Now, especially over here, we have the small wire. We have a lot of current that went through, and we've got some big, nice burns here that would have just been charring your meat. If this had been your muscle touching the wire, your muscles would have locked up and you would not have been able to release the wires as you slowly burned up. If it went through your heart, it would have immediately killed you. If it didn't go through your heart, your muscles would have locked into a spasm as you were hooked onto the wires. You're unable to release with your muscles, your muscles would have slowly cooked just like the hot dog was cooking. 